it's so nice to be home. <laughs> it's pretty late in the day and I'm just kind of starting to vlog because today was my first day back working out. <sighs> Girl, almost passed out like three times, like no joke. Um, Jeremy's brother is a personal trainer so he came over here to the house um, and I, I think we got through like maybe like 45 minutes. Started to have like tunnel vision, was like seeing black on the sides got super nauseous my hands started to get like super shaky just one because i have no stamina currently i haven't worked out in probably over a year and two it was so hot outside the humidity is no joke so just i think it was like a combination of all that i remember a while back when we lived like in our first apartment kind of like in the beginning of my my in the beginning of like my youtube years <laughs> um i worked out with a personal trainer lady and for like the first month straight i threw up every single time i worked out so i was on the verge of throwing up today but i didn't even though i felt like it plenty of times um so i just need this stamina to build back up because that kind of like you know you don't want to feel like shitty like that like working out but just got to power through it so we're gonna work out every day this week monday through friday hope that I don't die I will kind of incorporate um I'll kind of show you guys workouts as I get a little bit better because right now I just look like a newborn deer out there just like no kind of stability at all whatsoever um so like in a month or so when I've kind of got my shit together we'll kind of like start incorporating them and like what I'm doing and all that shit um the hardest part though is going to be like eating because that's like okay eyebrow that's like the main part of it and that's where I struggle a lot. So we're currently getting ready to go to Home Goods. No, we're not. We're not going to Home Goods. <laughs> we are gonna go to Whole Foods. I haven't been to Home Goods in so long. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow because remember I said I want to start getting that room together. So I gotta be out and about looking furniture shopping and just getting that room situated. Um so yeah, we're gonna go to Whole Foods, do a little grocery shop, and then when I come back, we will unbox all that shit that's in the entry. We got hella boxes. Okay, hella boxes. So let's go to Whole Foods. Beebs? Bo? Bo? Beebs? Are you asleep? No. Do you want to go to Whole Foods? No. No? Papa? Come on. You're, you're laying on the floor. <laughs> Man, it's not even bright, but it's bright. We got some food now, though. Hung. All foods will run you, though. Run ya. Beep says she wants in. Yeah, you always keep me locked out. Go, little Roomba. Go little Roomba. I want to say thank you to Tarte for sending the Roomba along with their new mask. Go little Roomba, go. But the cats, they don't really like it. <laughs> I already feel sore. <laughs> I wish I was one of those people that like liked to work out, but I don't like it at all. There's nothing that I like about working out. Except that, you know, you get like a better body from it. So. <laughs> So Jeremy just left to go to his friend Jimmy's birthday. It's like his 30th something. It's like, it doesn't even matter once you hit 30. It's just like, it's my 30 something birthday, you know? Beebs asked me if I wanted to go, but honestly, I just wanna stay home with my children, my cats. I don't wanna leave my house at all. Um, so we are going to unbox a bunch of shit. Cause there's a bunch of shit that needs to be unboxed. And then I'm gonna go lay in the bed. So this is gonna be probably a short vlog. I don't know. This unboxing, I feel like it's gonna take up some time. But honestly, this is my whole video today is unboxing my shit. Because all I did today was work out, go to the grocery store, and unbox stuff. Oh, and I edited today too. But. <clears throat> I wish I liked working out. Maybe it'll come. Maybe it'll come. Maybe not. Let's go get these packages. Baby girl. 
that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> what, what is this? I honestly thought this was going to be some kind of furniture art piece that I ordered because you know sometimes you order stuff and it's like back ordered and it like takes forever to get to you. Mm -mm. It's from Marc Jacobs. What the? So these are the Marc Jacob High Shine, oh, Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. They are definitely shiny. I don't know how they feel on the lip and I'm not going to put them on because to me the scariest thing in the world is when you have lipstick on or lip gloss and no other makeup. Because this face, it's not ready for the High Shine Gloss. Because they feel good on the hand, but it's hard to tell like the stick, you know? They have a very pepperminty scent. You know I'm a gloss girl over a matte liquid lip kind of girl, so I'm excited for these. And this box, though, is just... I feel like... One down, 38 to go. And there's also some Marc Jacob glasses in here. Oh, okay, Marc Jacob! <laughs> some little cute retro shades were also in there. Thank you. They feel so heavy. container filled with NYX lipsticks. <laughs> Alright, so we have matte lipsticks in these drawers and these drawers. Then we have some, these are their, what are these, soft matte lip creams. And then we have some of the lip lingeries, which is kind of their version of a liquid lipstick. And then we have some of the liquid suede, which is um, a little more comfortable to me than the lingerie. I might give this away. Stay tuned. I feel like I've tried this, but I have not tried the eye cream. Um, so I'm going to try the eye cream tonight because I've kind of been looking for a new eye cream. The one that I use, I like, but I just feel like I'm always looking for something new. Maybe that's my problem. Oh, fancy. I feel like we're a little late to the party, but better late than never. <laughs> so this is Jacqueline's palette with Morphe. And, oh, Jesus. Okay, girl. Okay, are we ready to see the palette? So, um, underneath the palette was this little guy right here. So it's all the shades in Jacqueline's palette with the names as well. So let's go ahead. I want to touch these children. Um, so this is what it looks like. I feel like, like, I've used Morphe, like, a little bit, but I'm not, you know, I'm not, like, crazy Morphe. Um, and I, I saw a lot of people talking about that I, they felt like they couldn't travel with a palette this size, but, I mean, if you're into makeup, like, this is nothing. Like, you could take this with you for sure. So, again, let me show you the colors. So, here are the colors. All of these shades are so amazing. Like, I feel like you wouldn't really need any other palette than this palette because there's so many different options in here. So, what should we touch first? What should we touch first? What do I want to touch? I kind of want to touch one of these shim- Okay, I'm going to touch a shimmer one. I'm going to touch this one right here. Okay. Okay. Wow. Like, that's me barely touching my skin. Um, let's do a matte one. So I'm going to do, like, this kind of similar- Oh, my God. Shade next to it. Wow. I don't know what people were talking about. I don't know why they were whining and complaining, but this shit looks good. So there's another one. I could sit here and swatch. I kind of want to hit this dark brown. Like, I love dark browns, but I've never found one that, like, I really like. Okay, I feel like the brown swatch could have been a little bit better, but I feel like that was my fault um, because I'm not really touching them super duper hard. But I think these shades are absolutely beautiful. So congratulations, Jacqueline. I can't wait to use this guy. And whoever was hating on it, they just mad. They just mad. This is the only part that I don't like about swatching because then I want to like rub it on my floor and that's not nice. I feel like I'm going to glue this thing on the back of the palette. Ah! 
just got those swatches all over my legs. Yeah, I am. I do still feel like a little jet lag happening. I get tired. Like, like right now, I'm super tired. Um, it's 8:30. I'm gonna go lay down in bed after we finish this unboxing. Oh my god, I just almost cut my foot. What the hell, man, I can't open it. So this is a curling iron and a hair straightener all in one. I purchased this myself because I thought that maybe this would be easier when I traveled so that I would only have to bring this guy instead of bringing my straightener and my curling iron. I'm really interested on how it works. Ow, it just pinched me. It is from Time, right? That's what it's called, Time. Oh man, this room's getting messy. The boxes are taking over. This is from Becca. Oh, that's a cool bag. Cool. I love any kind of little cosmetic bag like this. And this guy is super holographic. What are these? Okay, I definitely just bought like two of these on Sephora. This is the Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Gloss Glow. And as well as the Light Chaser Highlighter for face and eyes. Super cute holographic packaging. Why are we all such suckers for holographicness? Well, I don't know if you are, but I am a sucker for it. If it's holographic, I'll be like, ooh. Let me see what that is. I don't know if it's doing it justice on how pretty it actually looks. But I'll give this guy a little swatch. It smells like, um... It smells very beachy to me. That's pretty. <laughs> this is Topaz times guilt. Ooh, ooh. I am a sucker for a glitter clear gloss. Like, I wish, I hope these are like coming up as amazing as they look in person. Oh, I don't want to wear it yet. So that one is pearl times gold. Oh my God, all of these are so pretty. This is opal times jade. There he is. This is Champagne Dream times Bellini. And then there's that last guy right there on the end. It's color shifting, that's why it has two different names. And they are lip toppers. So you can wear these alone or you can wear these on top of a gloss. You can wear them on top of a lipstick, which is probably what I'll do because they are pretty sheer without any color underneath them, but you could definitely get away with wearing them without anything else on your lips. All really pretty, super reflective, tons of sparkle in them, so I like these. And again, these are the Liquid Crystal Lip Toppers. And then, oh, there's more. There's two more. Oh my god, they just get better and better. This guy is Rose Quartz times Seashell. Oh my god, that one's so pretty. I hope that you can see like a little bit of the color difference happening. Like that guy is more pink and the guy next to it is more purple. <laughs> I hope you can see. If you can't, I'm sorry. I'll take my word for it. And then, okay, now we have the last one. Oh <gasps> They're so beautiful. This one is Amethyst times Geoid. I feel like I always say that wrong. Are you joking me right now with these? These are ridiculous. This one is so mermaid-esque. And then there's the last guy on the end. So fucking beautiful. Those last two, the two that I left in the bag, mm, favorite. And then there are six new Light Chaser highlighters. Again, cool holographic packaging. Smaller than their usual like highlights. I feel like this is the size of like a poured highlight from Becca. This is Opal Flashes Jade. As you can see, they are color shifting, which I really like. And I do love the fact that you could use them on your face and your eyes, which I mean, I'll do that with things that don't even say that, but the fact that it says it, I like it even more. This guy is Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. Topaz Flashes Guilt. This is Pearl Flashes Gold. This is Amethyst Flashes Geoid. And lastly, we have Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. So those are all cute. I feel like we've been sitting in here forever. And my back hurts. And we still got a lot of fucking boxes to open. <laughs> We got some Glam Glow goods. We got the Old School Jam. This is the original Glam Glow. And then we have the Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. Okay, they really taped this one shut. Lancome, what is it? So Lily Collins' new book is in here, unfiltered, no shames, no regrets, just me. Okay. You know I like to read. 
And then some of her favorite products are in here. So the Genifique Youth Activating Serum Concentrate is in here. And this is one of my favorite products from Lancome. I love the Genifique line. Um, this guy you can just put all over your face. And I really love the Genifique sheet masks. And when we were in... Were we, in, we were in Shanghai. I was like, were we in Seoul or Shanghai? When we were in Shanghai, um, in the vlog, when they're like opening that blue stuff into the new Genifique Sensitive, that's a new product from Lancome, which I don't think comes out until September. Ooh, they give us like an extra early sneak peek on it. Um, but what that product does is you're only supposed to use it for 28 days. We had to write the day that we activated it because you activate it and you drop that blue serum into it and then you like shake it up into like the regular Genifique. Um, and you're supposed to use that for like traveling when your skin is just really doing its worst. Doing its worst? is at its worst that sounds better right um and you use that for 28 consecutive days and it's supposed to like really bring your skin back to life so i've been using it for six days and it says to use it consecutively so i will check back with you at like the end of 28 days and just see how my skin is looking but aside from that like kind of little dark spot right there my skin actually dare i jinx it it looks pretty good it looks pretty good right now. Um, also in here is the Soothing and Plumping Water Infused Cream with the Overnight Recovery Sleeping Mask. I'll be using this tonight. As well as some brow products and a liner. So, you know, Orangey is always present for unboxings. Right, Orangey? Hey. Orangey is always ready to unbox with mom. This guy's from Sigma. Oh, and apparently National Washer Brush Day was June 20th. Way to be behind, Nicole. So it's just a box filled with sh to wash your brushes with. So this is the Sigma Spa Brush Cleaning Glove, which is actually super amazing, um, especially if you wash your brushes with soap and water. I just used to before swirl the brush in my actual hand, and my hand by the end would just be like so... Ugh. So the fact that they came out with a glove, I have one of these gloves somewhere, but I lost it somehow in the mix of everything. So thank you Sigma for sending this guy because I actually really love this brush. Not brush, glove. Um, and they have their brush cleaner, which is actually really good. I'm happy that they sent another one because the one that I have, the pump never worked on it. I don't, I don't know what, maybe like I broke it or something. Um, but this is 100% natural brush cleaner and it cleans your brushes like super squeaky squeaky clean. Happy that this came. This is, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is the Sigma Dry and Shape Spa Washer Brushes on that little pink thing, which is kind of the same spiel as the glove. And then you can hang your brushes upside down so that they dry and shape properly. Because sometimes if you've ever washed your brush, if you're a little too rough on it and you just let it air dry like that, it can kind of keep that shape. Um, so you can put your brushes in these little guys and it will hold the shape of your brushes. Oh, there was something cold in here, shit. Oh, what is this? A little scary parfait? That's like melted in here? Yeah, we're gonna, leave, we're gonna leave that in there. This, I cannot show you. I can't show you this, but I need to open it and check it out. See what it'd be like. So I'll be right back. Another fragile. It's fragile. This is from Dose of Colors, which, you know, I love Dose of Colors. Anna, I love your shit. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. These are new lippies from Dose of Colors. These are their satin lipsticks. So, packaging A1, super cute. And this is what the actual lipstick looks like. Now, I saw some people, because um, obviously I've seen these, <laughs> um, but I saw some people complaining about the actual shape of the lipstick, and they thought that maybe it would make the lip application harder but actually the way that this is designed it actually makes it easier for it applied to your lips and you can also line your lips when your lipstick is shaped like this it's similar to the charlotte tilbury the way that their lipsticks are so just so you know it's not rolled out this is how it comes so that's as far down as it goes but you obviously can roll it up more so just be aware and be cautious you know be careful when you go to put your cap back on because i'm a klutz so I know that I will be nicking these, but no smell, no smell. So this is cinnamon swirl, lava cake, butterscotch, brulee, mochi. You know how long it's been since I wore like a pink lipstick like this? And I used, this used to be like my go-to shade. This is fudge, 
And last but not least, this is Toast. So here are all the shades. They all swatched super beautiful, highly pigmented, have that nice satin finish. And yeah, again, dose of colors. Killing it! Alright, so how long do you think it'll take before I get these swatches on my white shirt? What is this? So we have Old Flame and Plum Queen, which are their liquid lipsticks. So again, this is Old Flame and this is Plum Queen. But I'm not going to swatch them. Because they look like an orange and a purple. Okay? So we got some liquid lipsticks from Time. Time Los Angeles, you know, she makes like the really cute shirts. It's Ashley Wagner. So she has like a whole line of like apparel and cool shit, like really cool, bless you, really cool like makeup shirts. Um, so she just released some liquid lipsticks. I know she has lashes and brushes as well. So the brushes are these cute like little marble brushes. This is Hangry. I think it's a Sudai. Sudai? This is Grave Danger, Baby Ghoul. This is Lux Life and Pink Buttercream. I'm not gonna swatch because I'm swatched the fuck out. So this guy is from Jouer. It's their new high pigment lip glosses and the actual box is like a big Jouer lipstick, which is really cute. Full coverage high shine, 14 shades. <laughs> Lipsticks for life. <laughs> I wish boxes would just break themselves down, you know? A big, big black box with another box inside of it. It's like a Russian nesting doll. I appreciate calligraphy. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. Again, it's to kind of promo the new Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. That sounds pretty good to me. 15 hours of weightless wear, medium to full coverage. Matte finish to minimize imperfections. Silky fine powders help diffuse light so skin looks smooth and the look of pores and fine lines are minimized. Is this like the world's longest unboxing? Because it feels like that to me. I feel like we've been in here for hours. Oh, what is this? So they are stamps to create wing liners with. Okay, I could, I could get down with this. So it... It's basically just like this, like a little rubber stamp. And then on each end, you have the wing tip. Cool. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Those are the packages. I have two more little packages like this. But I don't feel like opening them because my back hurts, my legs hurts, my eyes hurts, I'm tired. I have a workout in the morning, like I said, kind of early. So hopefully I won't die tomorrow of just heat exhaustion. Oh, it was so bad today. Like, I had tunnel vision. It was just, like, going black. Like, my vision was perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden, it was just like this. Like, I could only see right here. So it's, like, 10 o'clock already. Like, what? Huh? What? Where, where, where'd the time go? No, we need to go to Home Goods because, like I said, I don't even remember when I said it. I think that it's in the vlog that you guys watched yesterday. Um, we need to get that room situated. So we are going to be hitting furniture stores, hit Home Goods. I still would like to find a couch for this room and get my artwork up on the walls. I'm sorry that I left you guys for a week. It was totally unintentional. I had no intentions of just kind of disappearing, but I did. And I apologize. The jet lag just really got to me. It was really hard for me to stay awake. Uh, I went to sleep uh, pretty early every night that we were in China. Um, I think that I'm kind of back on a regular schedule here. I just kind of forced myself to stay up late and then wake up early and get shit done throughout the day. So... Yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow.